because the elephant in the room is that I come from a different place into this like storied lineage of fashion. And what I want to do is I want to be like, you know, like this Western movie where there'd be like one black cowboy and you're like, I don't understand like where you came from and the sort of like Mountie or whatever going through. Like I kind of want to deliver a message, be like, yeah, I come from this place. This yeah. is, and this place that is so-called, usually been labeled as like streetwear that was like, oh, is it going to be formidable or not? because they need to know for the products that will be in store right after the show. Yeah, 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 I enjoy it. To so to me, I actually don't work at all. That's where the balance comes in. I feel like I haven't worked a day since... The last thing I worked on was maybe like a, my thesis in, uh, at Illinois Institute of Technology, and that was 15 years ago. That was work, you know. I didn't necessarily want to do that. Everything that I've done since then is passion. I would do it for zero dollar. I think I've paid. Yeah. You know? Can they, like, can it come here and then, or? Yeah, have that same shape. Like, yeah. same, maybe it's here yeah. and then there. Kind of like this. So maybe like the chain. Yeah, I think just mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's almost like if they're there at all. Can I see that piece of plastic? The plastic bag. Can I just ask a question? If you have this, is there any way that you can have the feet actually falling here and here? No, pas par dessus. T'as t'as les fonds d'armes, mais en dessous des armes, mais qu'il y a pas le pilier. That's so sick. How's it going? Good, and you? Good. I feel like this first collection is, yeah. is everything that I've learned uh, right, in life up until this point. You know, I'm 37, it like so it's like, like there's nuances yeah, the from my childhood, like there's nuances like, from my yeah, architecture like, background, from my like, DJing like, background, oh, my like, in the art world, you know, like, like all these things are synthesizing man. into this one collection. It's like, what about having the fountain running and doing like three rows so the models walk around? Like I could put something else in here too. I feel like, like that's just a trick to raise a flag. I don't, I, I agree. I'd rather be like, hey, this is a humble show. Yeah, or, but all the models, like, you know, look number three. <laughs> Millions of people are gonna be judging should I put the LV logo anywhere? Something Lux. Yeah. This is not an off-white show. I think I wouldn't. No, no, not like that. It was just to show you yeah, something yeah, yeah. black and thicker. Right? Exactly. We're gonna do like the injection. Yeah. The mask. Slightly square. So, more square. I have this trick I've done with like the. It's like. The zigzag. Zigzag. Stitch. Yeah. Ah, stitch. Oh, uh, not. Uh, yeah. Try this. Try. I think this needs to be like ceramic. Not plastic, so it doesn't feel like, so it feels luxury. Not, uh, okay. Yeah, try, try. I was Most thinking, 40, uh, I was thinking this cut like a zigzag, uh -huh. but also maybe it's just a zigzag stitch. We've got a scuba zigzag mm -hmm. stitch here, but like bigger. Wait, big zigzag okay. stitch. 
that's attaching the tongue. Yeah. yeah. So it's finished and it's like. I like what you were thinking, like. So we can see on the mock-ups right now, some of them were launched uh <laughs> Modify the length. Yeah, it's better. Do we find and out I think about the, the chain? Yeah, the chain is, I think, it's extreme. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. So trick number one of getting what you want while you're at a fashion house, word it like this. So <laughs> I got an idea. Yeah. You know what we should do is we're gonna hand we're gonna put the label on the inside. Yeah. Then we're gonna hand stitch writing. Yeah. Say second floor men's atelier. Oh my God, yeah, cool. cool. Yeah. So then when I Instagram it and we photo it. Yeah, I've been wearing the clothes. I've designed two, two of the runway looks I've already been wearing. I've been just showing it on Insta. So I wore, I went to the Met. I designed the suit here in the atelier on myself. The pattern cutter, you know, the atelier in the back. The concept of it while doing the show. So the first two looks are already out. The show will start with look three. No, there's like an empty seat that no one's sitting in. So I was like, should just burn a bunch of stuff. I can like... And it's no for no valid, reverse validation. The only validation that I get is to sort of prototype more. And then that is like the fear of not running out of ideas. Like I, I, my work ethic is crazy because I, I fear I will run out. <laughs> So I made this idea for the collection when I flew over here from the US after it got announced. Like had all these other ideas before it got announced, but then I this one hit me in like the five hours that I flew over was this like metaphor, leaving off white, hitting this prism of Vuitton and then having access to the full color spectrum. It was Peter Saville that gave me the advice that's like, no one's designing anymore. We're all stylists, whether you're even a graphic designer, typographer. You're taking things from the past and you put it on the table. And then you can say that this is your, you know, there's a lot of art movements that came, painting, sculpture, architecture. Someone new, of course, there's new. There's people that are inventing from zero. I'm more occupied with sort of contextualizing the past to get to somewhere new and I think this project is the culmination of a lot of that for me.